What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a Lego stop motion first person point of view um, shot. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, but one thing to note, I won't be creating a super complicated animation. Um, if you want something like uh, a first person shooter uh, animation, you can check out my other first person videos. I can link those down below. But um, yeah, so what you'll need uh, is of course a set and a camera and you'll want to have some studs in front of the camera and you're gonna want those because these are what you're gonna need to attach the minifigure arms to so you just pop the minifigure arms off of a minifigure and you stick some sticky tack um, and put them on something like a little wall and so I'm gonna have the uh, left arm over here and the other arm right here and so it's gonna be in front of the camera here, let's move it over here but yeah you want it to be you want them to be even and you want there to be you know the same amount of arm on both sides so yeah that's all you're gonna need to create that it will be blurry I've seen people use a green screen with the hands in front but that's um, too complicated for me honestly so blurry hands uh, work for me but I added sticky tack so you can move them up and down and side to side and you know pretty much everywhere so that's really helpful um, or you can just attach it to a torso but I think it's much better to use putty because but then it allows more flexibility but uh, make sure the arm doesn't fall off the sticky tack because then it'll be hard to get it back on in the same position since it's obviously right up against the camera uh, so you'll notice if it uh, changes position at all but yeah you also want to be aware of not bumping the camera when you move the arms um, and just make you know make sure the sticky tack or the arm is in the is firmly attached to the sticky tag so it doesn't mess up your animation. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, when you move the camera, if it's like walking or something, uh, just, you know, just, I like to just slide it and kind of move the arms a little bit up and down. You'll want to have plenty of frames with the arm going up so it's not just really, you know, uh, wonky looking. But also, if something, if they're up close to something, you might want to like lean the camera down for a few frames and I will just hold it like this but uh, it works as well if you just stick um, you know plates under here but I think it's easier to just control it if it's just gonna be for a few frames and each frame is gonna be movement but yeah that's all I really wanted to say about that but yeah so here's the time-lapse of me actually animating something guys that is it i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this helps you uh so yeah i'd love to see some of your animations if you make something uh like this um based on this tutorial uh let me know and uh, i'd love to see it so yeah that's all i got for you guys today and uh i'll see you guys later